Hi there, so in this video we are going to take a look at variables in Perl language. So the first thing, make sure that you have Perl installed on your operating system. You can go through official Perl website, perl.org and then go to download. Depending on your operating system, you can download the version that is suitable for your machine. Now, you can open text editor or ID that supports Perl language. Now here I'm using Visual Studio Code and I'm going to show you how to use variables. Now first thing, create one file with name let's say sample.pl, you can name demo.pl or anything else. Uh, next thing after that is save that file with extension.pl now after this we are going to simply write one variable and for that we make use of dollar sign so every variable that you declare in Perl will have this dollar sign so let me just add my age 33 and after declaring that make sure to have semicolon this will create variable name age and it will store value 33 into it now next thing you create another variable name let's say devnami okay now after that make sure that you use semicolon again now here in first case you created one integer variable in second case you will notice that we have this text so it will be your string variable okay now next we will add one more variable and name it let's say salary and here I want to set a package let's say I have a package of 5.2 and I want to assign that to the salary variable okay again I have used semicolon to end that variable okay now I'm going to print each variable on console so I'm going to use keyword print then let's say I'm going to use age and colon and after that I'm simply going to use at the rate here symbol uh, dollar symbol H okay and also I'm going to use this slash n so that we get our new output on next line so we have age then we have salary now at this dollar sign dollar salary then we use slash n okay let's see my column again and we use print and then let's say i'm going to use my name and colon now at this point let's add dollar sign name and then slash n. okay and again semicolon okay so what we have done here is we assign age and given this variable dollar age then salary dollar salary and name okay if you are from background such as php then you will notice that this dollar sign and then name of the variable is the way we do in php as well if you are not aware of any other programming language then you can just make use of this dollar symbol before your variable now save this file and open terminal make sure you go into the directory where you have this perl file store now here i'm going to type in command perl then name of my file sample.pl now i'm going to hit enter and hoping that it should show me the output 
and as you can see it is showing me the age which is integer variable then salary which is float and then we have our text variable okay or you can say string so we have integer float and string all explained in this code okay there are a few other things that you may come across as you start to use those variables but these three basics are what we are going to use for most of your programs so this was a short video on variables in Perl. I'm also going to take a look at some of the variables that you can use for boolean operation and let's say for any other uh, computation etc okay so this was short video on variables in Perl.